welcome back to the stream. Um, I sorted it out for some reason. It was the setting I had on OBS. I just got rid of it, redid it, and everything's cool. So this is Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, where you a ghost and you solve your own murder. So without further ado, let's dive into it. came to there was a woman standing there a woman I don't know at least I don't think I know her and there was a man with a gun I don't know him either well probably not anyway now I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot but I have just one little problem I'm already dead myself This, this has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? So long, sister. I feel bad for her. Sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking, as I was thinking this... This is no time to be lolling around dead. You're the only one who can save her. It's me. Right. What the? The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. <coughs> A voice in my head, who are you? No time for introductions now, you have to save her. I know you can do it, all you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Huh? How? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. A core? Hmm, just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try moving your soul. <laughs> Did it. Congratulations. Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So what? Now I'm a crossing gate? <clears throat> now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Now then, time will start to flow again. Oh no. Well played. Huh? What just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? That's right, you really play at that object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a trick like that is press A. Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. Yes, hmm, that's not good is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So enter the girl's world with ghost, possess an object and then perform a trick with it, eh? Now you're getting it, let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different call. I see. Ah, a guitar then, is it? Uh -huh. Hey, what you want from me? I would have preferred that giant wrecking ball, that would have solved the real the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach calls that are too far away. Well I guess we'll see what we can do with that guitar. Let's Set to time in motion again and find out. Who's there? Hold it. 
Yeah, that's gotta be the slowest running away I've ever seen. Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see. What core is close enough to possess from here? I guess all there is is me. No time to be picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, and I also be able to manipulate my own core, try it? Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you just try it? Try it and see. Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright then, now we'll set time in motion. No, can't do anything. <gasps> Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You've got to be kidding. Wait, what about that woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look you can around, you can move the screen. <coughs> it's easy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> Ooh. It's done, I'm on my way. In the end, it looks like a fairy maid's unchanged. So, what good are those ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this. <laughs> Hello, how are you feeling? Not for well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy will happen tonight. <laughs> Ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so cold and stiff, I'd say. <coughs> Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. So all of my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick a ghost can do. Looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much to good. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true for now. I have more to teach you about your powers of the dead, your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? But what can I do? She's, a, she's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Hmm, no. Well, I'm so determined to save this one. After all, it's not like I know her, but I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick time! Hmm, my thoughts. So I don't know voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So he thought we were sort of a standing. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. Just might get some important clues from them. Now then, 
In order to surprise me, you first have to enter the ghost world. Press Resident L is your ticket. The best thing to do is try it. Oh, eh? Hey. Hmm. What about it? it? Tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The difference is there. Hmm. My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power? What else? Now that's with you. You can press those objects and manipulate them. To use manipulate corpse. However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah, what's that? Why didn't you try and see? This. Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious, but she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Just think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to it, I was already dead. save it yet. Let's leave it like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. And it, it's easy. When you, use, when you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before that person's death. Oh, we can travel through time. That's right, but there's a catch. She only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that time limit. You might want to give it to give it a try before it's too late. This is crazy. None of this makes sense. <sighs> We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before she was murdered. <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. Going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes, not as a fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but a very real living present. <laughs> Wake up, are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of a hitman? What do you want with me? They say we have to rub out all the last traces of Tempsic left in this country. Tempsic? What in the world is that? Beats me. We'll just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere to run. Tow that eyes, sister. Doesn't that bad boy wrecking ball stage right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister.
shotgun, kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me nearsighted Jigo, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? My oh, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. And that was her death. And there you have it, last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. She's not a ghost of them. Trick. But you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like too. Now then, are you ready? Yep, let's do it. where her start your starting point is where her corpse was. Hmm. Up in them. Hmm, so we gotta get up there. Well stop stop asking about him. Telling the top of the time is how much time she has left. Get to her quickly before the sand is gone. Up you go then. about them. Oh, not back that way. Sister. Yeah, all right. That's your chance to change your fate. So Tijigo never misses, as long as the target is within point blank range. Looks like you made it in time just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second, Hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. We did it, 
guys. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The bridge is a... Right, if I want to look, I can move the screen. No, I know what I did wrong. something. Oh. Open. My doors are being loud. One second, guys. How does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone. Yes, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You use your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. When I came back to the present, it was raining. <laughs> I'd saved the life of this stranger now sitting forlornly in the rain, even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. A chew. A stranger. That word strikes a chord. And a tower up a troop begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? Most important of all. Why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway? Just call me Ray. As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet, I Actually, I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. If you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead, and that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. I don't know. What? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute. These powers of the dead, yes? I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do we even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I try to save myself as well? 
I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. That is true. <laughs> Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. In any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. What? You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escape in my own death? Guess not. In the morning I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know the story. The story of my last fate. <coughs> story of my fate. Lost fate. Right up until the time of my death and until I learn that. You won't be able to rest in peace, right? Clearly not. Why would I want to? Why would I want to rest in peace? Ugh. Sorry, one sec. Right. Oh well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death as well? You should. I will, but let's see. How should I go about doing that, I wonder? Can I imagine what the first step would be? The first step, that's easy. You start with her. Person who witnessed your death, she should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right, and not only that. She might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. ZL. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. Alright then, I wish you good luck. So let's have a look. Oh, that's me. The red-headed target. Ray of light. Jigo. <laughs> then I'll let her out of my sight. Besides, I'm not the kind of guy who can just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. I think I'll try to move closer. I am trying. moved all by itself, then the big iron ball fell all by itself, it started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. Seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of nude? Did I write 
about this now. Maybe she can read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it. But even more importantly. Chance to read that note. Not to interest trying to thought, but I wonder if you realised where this telephone call was coming from. Huh, <laughs> how would I know that? Think back before you helped to revert her fate. And the telephone call will come in around this time too. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's done. Not to remember all that, don't I? Telephone call. Exactly, in other words, at this very moment on the other end of this telephone line is the culprit who ordered your murder. I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. And then I saw him. Right there on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who murdered me, ordered me dead. Is it done? Speak up, man! Did you get her? Who is this? Oh, yes. A thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> oh, no. So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right, so what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You'd better believe I would. Then you would do well to listen to me. We go to exist by possessing the inanimate object. However, there is one way we can move from place to place over great distances. Is it by any chance down the telephone line? And that would be the deck and jump from point over the phone line. Say what? I've done all I can to do to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? Afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my random strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask you for your help. My help? Many mysterious things many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I trusted you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning I cease to exist, that doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, f find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. Hmm. This Dislam knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then, from that call of me a moment ago, you have the telephone. You now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. Let's go. And so the story of the search for myself begins. A story that only will last. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answer before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? What exactly is going on? Going to happen in this town tonight? <laughs> oh, new illustration. Cleared the challenge. We'll throw in a save. Whoops. Press the wrong button. I didn't make a manual save, did I? Oh, I guess that was a manual save. Oh, who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers of these questions is the man who ordered my murder.
The other end of the phone line is the very man who would me kill our meeting. It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I really prepare really prepared for what's to come. Mm, yes. If I've read what this far is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Hmm, yes. But I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself, even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man. It put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. Fa ha 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 ha! What is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music. And that odd little machine, I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another one of their targets. That file the old man has, maybe to give me some information on my redhead. This phone contains information about the radio, but I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target Miss Lynn is no longer a threat, sir. Bah! That's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm, Lynn, eh? So that's her name, is it? But this file... Looks like he's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? important job ahead of you tonight, sir. You god man, are you trying to give me the case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah! Granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off. Confound it. Hmm, yes. In any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Hey! That's... It's me? Mm, yes, Sissel. If all goes well with that deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes. It's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Sissel? That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that all be about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? We're completely prepared for tonight, sir. Mm, yes, now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me, and another thing, there seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lynn. Why else would our names both come up here like this?
Where is your head, man? I told you, I do to wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Oh, get it fixed, man, unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. These guys murdered me near the tongue of the redhead. What kind of connection did we have to each other? Say, this room is giving me the heebie jeebies, my good man. What with painting spinning around and the like, it's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. This room is just completed recently, sir. We are still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Hmm, mm, yes. I just hope that's all it is. I mean, god, man, how am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? Is there a state of affairs? Well, I can't. Well, I can even be startled by a telephone. There's an even ring. God. It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice. Bah. The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What? Lynn? Mm, yes. You did mention taking the next step in a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Linda's in danger again. This is one step ahead Tango. I'm at the target's apartment now. And out of it, man, have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they would come in one step ahead, would they? I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman Division. Ah, no, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We could discuss my new salary later. Great Scott. Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it! You're even hanging up on Step Ahead! What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him... Maybe I'll give him some of Neil Sighted Jigo's pay. Lynn! Can't lose her, she's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. It's a mad edit for using phone lines, because you wouldn't get that now, because everyone's got mobiles. got to take care of him before Lynn gets home. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately Lynn isn't here yet, but fortunately the hitman is. Well there are a couple of other unfortunately little developments I'm waiting for me it seems. Ooh, looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And even an unlucky little doggy. The poor, brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home now, I have to do something about the situation of facts. Ooh, it's trick time! To the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, you're talking to me? Of course, do you see anybody else around here? 
For I remember right, the dead don't have voices, their thoughts reach the other person directly. Guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are? Presumably the, do Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I am dead, huh? Let's see. The dead lose their memories, they even forget what they look like, and so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right! I'm Missile! Nice to meet you! I'm a Pomeranian! Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories, thanks to this little dog here. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her! But I died before I could rescue her! How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save... Time to save this his... Time to save this his life? Time to save this his life. That's not a very good... Translation, is it? Let's see, first of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, Beth. Where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other. Hmm. Looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just travelled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. Oh. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold, then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. Missile, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down! Shove. You don't want us to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Sigh. Why did I say sigh? Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I'll know. I'll listen to music. Oops. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. when jobs outside the original scope crop up. After what he down as a separate charge and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry kid. So 
So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that. I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's start. Let's get started on saving her. But let's see, how are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite of that, out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around and I want to say... All I want to say to them is welcome. I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is to get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Do you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Hmm, you're right. Those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. Let's save her life. Oh, this is way more reading than I expected. This isn't good. Miss Quilly's going to put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. And when she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? Yeah, we did it. Oh no, darn. How did I manage to do that? Lynn just bought those headphones too. How about if we tell her you did it, Miss R? Darn, no one can even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what, now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. The only thing I can think of is that. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. If only I had a big strong teeth and an aggressive spirit. Hmm. It doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in, so in that case... Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we hide Miss Camilla? Hide? Huh? That sounds like just the idea, kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could we a little lady hide in this room? Under the sofa. Uh, I can't do that. I need to knock the...
Where are the donuts go? No! Come on! to go back. doing under here you silly boy oh my little miss you always doing the cutest things oh we did it guys my prey is bound to come home sometime might as well take my, make myself comfortable in the meanwhile There's our little lady's fate bit. There, our little lady's fate has been averted. And as? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaken with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not too bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, right. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it. Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I say, Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress, I can I can attest to that. Oh, thank you. Eight of Can I ask you a question? Sure, why is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my like ghost tricks? Apparently they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dear too, after all. Uh, I guess that's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't even budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair. Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. You literally get told you that. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing really, your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy and living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But, we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What you did for me today, I'll never forget. Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess we'd better get... I guess we'd better be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. Yeah. 
now a new present is born. The little lad is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear, and the little doggy is wagging his head, tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. Hmm. Guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junk yard yet, apparently. Can't let nearsighted G go beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. What was all that about? You saved me, didn't you, Miss R? I just know you did. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Maybe you should, so I can get I can get in there. Lynn. There's a little doggy all curled up on the floor. Drew away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? Dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desklab taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? Better try possessing him, it's it. Oh, it's you, it's you. It's, hmm, come to think of it, I never did ask you your name. Guess it's got to be ran into each other again then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After all, everything we shared together, the drama, that tearful goodbye, I miss Isle. But you know it's strange. Wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Ugh. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me set this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear, and the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land I live in. And if I possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. Which means... I can possess Lynn. Camilla! Oh, thank goodness you're okay! Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You, what, you won't believe what just happened. Listen to me. You've got to get out of there right now. What about dinner? I'm thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen, on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know. That's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? Oh, I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. You can't very well call it a music box then, can you? More just, more like just box. <laughs> just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, well, where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Excuse me. Oh no. Not again. Gotta get into the music box. Darn, now I've got my phone in there too. How about if we tell her you did it, Miss R? But I just but I sure hope Lynn's alright. I better get going. I have no right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay?
It's the music box. This is it, the music box. Yippee! I'll leave the remote here. Don't you touch it, missile. The TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Okay, I'm leaving now, Miss Arm. I have to go out and leave. She's like a sister to me, you know? You'd be good while I'm away and no barking. How am I supposed to get there? Still no peace for that little lady. Now the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my towel wagging too, because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Once again, Lenny's in danger and I think she knows it too. Sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead and I can't lose her. I have to get to her fast. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. Did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. I mean, the dog went flying. I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you. Now we just need to get back across. So this is what it feels like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out, though. Well, knocked out, knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? Yeah. You are. But TV in the star room, aren't I? I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. But wait a minute. Looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? I can get across. Your barking made it create a path for me. It did, but the wall is still standing, just like before. Oh. I'm starting to get uncomfortable. 
but there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kind of paths. Trick time! Right. Yeah, I can save, so... Bye, doggy. So you're leaving her? I guess so. You're going to save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn. I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along the way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. I'm going to find a way to go help Miss Camilla too. We create our own paths, right, Missile? That's right! Okay, I'm leaving now. I guess this is our second goodbye. Oh, it is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm going to create my own path just like you said. Tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle of cheese. Here is to the boorish people next door. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Um, I'm just going to do this, probably get to the phone, and then as soon as I get near the phone, I will save it and that will be the end of the stream. I'm just getting a bit uncomfortable sat on the floor and no one's been watching anyway so and I've just got one more other thing to do before bed for my YouTube channel which if you like Football Manager then come in soon but I shall speak to you in a second I'll be back in a minute. Hello, I'm back. Ooh. 
Let's finish this off. Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with this oddly tense air of this place, anyway? Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? There it is. Hi, babe. There it is, the telephone. Now, if I can just borrow it. I think it's too heavy, I can't manipulate it. Maybe the woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. Yeah, hey, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman, and I'm a married man, but we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you, even if it means my ultimate ruination. Hmm, ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to nag me until I'm sure. Where is that dictionary? Let's see, I know I put it here somewhere, I know where could he have gone to? That's all I've got to do. I mustn't allow myself to believe in your love, Mr. Prime Minister. But why won't you believe me? My love for you is true, I swear. And it's so strong it overwhelms me. You know, I've always wondered, if you can be overwhelmed by something, can you be just plain whelmed? This is going to nag at me till I'm sure. Man. <sighs> oh, this is new stuff. Sorry, <laughs> he's going to nag at me until I'm sure. left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Perhaps my darling angel. Mama! Ooh. Didn't mean to make it grow. This is my darling angel. Ow, my head hurts, Mama. You poor dear, no wonder with a fever 102. Here is to a night of fever hotter than my lover, the Prime Minister. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? 
Yes, I suppose that would be best, but wait a minute. But you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't want to go, I just don't go and pretend I did. I'd go play with Camilla next door or something. Here is to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Hey, today's Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? Aren't we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mum has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait! I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. It was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go back to sleep. Especially sick little girls. I hate you, Mama! This is a right pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. It sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. Oh, my lamp is out. Eek! What's going on? Oh, I made a typo. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hello, is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you, change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever! Let me talk to Amelie, then, at least. You can't talk though, she's sick of the fever right now, and I won't have you given her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa. Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again, I won't answer. I refuse to answer! Looks like we're going over to... Oh, 
Are you alright, sir? I ordered all of you not to come near me. I beg your pardon, sir. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir. Oh boy, another strange room and another strange person. Wish these telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh. Oh, did it? Yeah, it's going well. I mean, you're the only person who's watched it, babe, but... Oh, well. thinking of finishing it in a minute. Yeah, a bit. Yeah, the floor's really uncomfortable. supposed to go over here. I've got to go back to the junkyard because that bloke's going to be there. Now yeah, we'll jump back to the junkyard, see what happens. <laughs> Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Looks like they're examining my buddy. I wonder who they are. And besides, I'm uncertain somebody else wriggles or bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation, you know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? Where is Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Hmm. I better see what I can find out. And that is where I'm going to leave it, because I'm getting uncomfortable on this floor. Um, and... As I said, it's been a fun stream, I've enjoyed the game, uh, a lot more talking than I thought there was going to be, but uh, good night babe, love you. Um, but yeah, I'm giving up for now, uh, I'll be back on Sunday, um, maybe with more of this, maybe not, I don't know, but um, I'll definitely be back Sunday. 
If you have enjoyed this, please follow my Twitch channel. Um, also, go over to my YouTube channel. I've got I put all my streams on there and stuff, and I've got loads of other games and that. And as I said, I've got Football Manager series coming up. If you're interested in that, um, go over there, like my videos, comment, subscribe, do all that lovely fun stuff, and I will be eternally grateful. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day, good afternoon, good evening, a good night, and I shall see you guys again soon. See you later. Bye, babe. Peace out.